My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be doing a review on this Perch storage solution. Uh, this is a specific uh, storage solution for Makita cordless tool set, um, but they have a variety of different options for different cordless tool sets as well. So uh, let's get into the video. So a little bit more about this set. Uh, I ordered this uh, a week or so ago online. I ordered it, I believe I ordered it through the website, maybe off of a, a third party source or site. Um, it was $100 to $150 and uh, really probably one of the best storage solutions I found on the market. I found a different one that was close to it, uh, about the same price, maybe a little bit cheaper. And then I ended up finding this one and I'm really excited to unbox this because I really think it's a quality product. Uh, and that's why I ordered it. Um, Paid for it out of my own pocket. So I'm going to install this in the garage here, uh, get a nice uh, cordless tool storage area because right now my tools are all over the place. It's hard to find them all. They're all in bags and different places stored in the garage, just getting disorganized. So I uh, really wanted to, to pony up and get something to store them in the garage here. So after looking around, I determined this is probably the best spot in my garage to hang this up. We'll take down this calendar and uh, put this on the wall here. I've got to power underneath the bench here so I can charge. Uh, all my batteries, so that'll be right here near, nearby. Um, new garage, new setup, trying to figure everything out, try and make everything as streamlined as possible. And uh, that's kind of where this comes in. You need something uh, to streamline the process and make it more organized. Okay, so pretty, pretty simple construction. Looks like they just uh, CNC cut this out. Um, Pretty clean, nice uh, logo on the back there. Uh, four places to bolt this on. I assume this is 16 inches on center across the back there. And then uh, just a CNC cut around here, we've got some threaded uh, holes right here. And then on these ends, it looks like we're just welded in place. That's a pretty common CNC technique is to kind of cut, cut a little hole right here. And then this other piece um, just sets right in there and they just, uh, Real quick uh, tack weld on there. It's welded on there over the corner. Actually, that's a pretty nice little, nice little handhold. I'm not sure if, actually, that'd be really sweet to have a uh, holes in the, in the garage here. Stick it up on the wall, lift it off the wall, pull it off. Take the whole tray of tools. It might get pretty heavy. This is pretty heavy by itself. Take this whole thing out to my trailer and hook it up in my trailer. That would be a really cool solution. But uh, this is their five holder, which is a uh, pretty substantial. It comes with these little, how many of these does it come with? One, two, three. So we got six of these guys. And I think this is what's gonna bolt on. So uh, really neat, really nifty product here. Um, I just thought these were gonna be some cheapo CNC cut thing. Uh, these things are, I don't know if these are molded plastic or what, but, uh, these are very nice. Look on the back side here, uh, very well formed. Uh, you know, the, the Makitas, I love these Makitas, they're very ergonomic. And uh, these little things feel factory. Um, close in color, not a perfect match um, by any means. You can see, but it is a nice close color. Uh, they also sell uh, like Milwaukee, uh, DeWalt, probably a few different brands. So on the bottom here, we can install these little things. I guess you can do, well, looks like the deeper spot. Not sure why they have this other hole out here, but uh, we can install those down here, bolt them on, and then we'll be able to put drills underneath here and back here. And I think what I'll do, I think actually what you're supposed to do is we'll have them on top and then also underneath. So this will give me enough room for nine tools, which I think might actually be a good storage. because I think I probably have close to that in here. Uh, we'll see how well it does with like the skill saw, a couple odds and ends tools that may not fit very well, but it is kind of a shelf so they can probably sit up on here.
Okay, well there's a quick time lapse. The install went pretty well, and uh, looks like I need to buy some more Makita products. So I've got one, two, three, four open spots. Uh, this uh, skill saw, the circular saw, does not fit. Uh, and honestly, the shelf space up here very quickly filled up. Um, this uh, Sawzall, I can't remember how the angle is on the other Sawzalls, but this is kind of their mid to lower grade Sawzall. Can't really put this on the top here. I actually could probably turn these around. Uh, it might still not be. Without the blade, it would probably fit there. May have to flip that over. Um, but can't really put it on top there. This actually fits pretty well back there. Uh, we've got the, we'll talk about the top in a second. We've got my drill here. We've got an impact driver. We've got room for, um, really like to get like a 3 8 um, impact driver for automotive work, automotive repairs, maybe even a half inch one. So that could go there or even up on one of these upper slots. So up top we've got the angle grinder and the multi-tool. Uh, really, as I've grown these tools, I, I can't see myself doing anything without all of these. Uh, it's really an investment to get into all these. Um, but one at a time uh, for my landscape bit jobs, uh, it, it just, I buy one when I need it and it works out and then I always use them afterwards. Um, but as far as use on this, uh, it's a little bit firm right now, but I think that this will break in over time. And, and this, this is a really heavy grinder. And you can see there's a little bit of bounce there, but it looks really structural. Multi-tool. Real nice and firm. And these uh, drills can go up top. You just have to remove the batteries. And I think you can actually buy holders for the batteries so you could slide the batteries underneath here as well, possibly. Um, but I think uh, they were sold out. I think they were sold out on the battery holders. But uh, I, th I think with the stiffness on this, I think it will break in, but I think also there's no real reason to put these ones I normally use up top there. The ones with the batteries, the ones I normally use, are gonna be much quicker to access, kind of on this lower uh, holder tray area. Uh, one thing I am concerned about is this is a little bit of a, it's not a super sharp edge, but it is an edge. And I'm a little bit concerned that going in here, that it uh, is gonna ding up this rubber piece that's right here. And actually, now that I'm looking at this, it looks to me like they might, they've really, they've really uh, figured out the engineering on this, because I think what they've done is they've cut out this piece, and this piece actually fits the next piece in their assembly line. So they've just got this a huge sheet, and they've got nearly zero waste, because they're just cutting right here. And then the, the scraps on this one goes to the one next to it. Um, that, that is awesome. So uh, if you're interested, check out, uh, I'll try and leave a link down in the description below, but check out these guys if you need uh, tool storage, a uh, really great option. I'll keep playing with this, seeing what's the best setup for me. I was going to go a little bit lower, but I think this height's going to work well. It just happens to be that there's a stud on this side right here, only in that one spot, uh, nothing below it. So this uh, fit, fits okay, it's not the perfect situation. I don't want to deal with putting a stud back behind this wall right now. It's just in a closet, so it's not a huge deal. But I uh, just need to get quickly get some storage set up as I get as I build out this garage. We, uh, if you aren't, uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, we we've recently purchased a home. It's uh, the biggest thrifty garage project, so we're doing a fixer upper on it. Uh, so far, we've done paint and flooring, and next up, we'll be doing kitchen and baths. So, pretty big project. Also, did a ton of yard cleanup. So check out some of those other videos we've got on the channel. But uh, just trying to get everything uh, ready for the season, uh, getting into early 2021. I want to get everything rolling, organized, clean, and make sure everything's as streamlined as possible for this next year. So, uh, without anything else, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one. And uh, just make sure I was using them uh, fully because they were getting to the point where it's kind of hard to organize. Blah, 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 blah.